What's up gamers? This is that PlayStation Gamer coming to you guys with a brand new video. I just wanted to talk to you guys today about PlayStation VR 2 and that price tag. Oh boy. <laughs> that is not light. That's for damn sure. If you guys recall a while back, I said I think at most it was going to be $500. That seemed to be the most, you know, what people were saying. It's like $500 at most. Well, I guess we forgot inflation's a thing and... I guess even for brand new products, there's inflation prices. So it's $550. That's not including any kind of bundled game. And the, get the whole the VR2 is not backwards compatible VR1. I'm going to be straightforward here. I'm probably going to wait for this to be on sale. I'm going to wait for this to be, you know, something that's on Black Friday. Maybe it's like $499. Maybe it's, you know, $450. Then, then I could see myself throwing the money out for it but to be honest even then it's still a hard sell because we need some games for the same to make it look really appealing now don't get me wrong there are games out there that look good horizon call of the wild also a game they announced around this time how much it's gonna cost it's gonna be 40 bucks so it makes you think the game's not gonna be like super long but it is one of those things like i was like oh you know what that's not too bad then there's that firewall game which does look really nice the Walking Dead uh, <laughs> Retribution or something. I forget the name too. I'm just going to call it Walking Dead VR 2. Um, just because it does look pretty dang good. And of course, you know, that you're going to have your other stuff that's going to be very appealing down the road. I have the sneaky suspicion we have not seen the last of Iron Man or some kind of Marvel game on PlayStation VR headsets. I think VR 2 more than likely will get some kind of Marvel game. I'm hoping, hoping for Spider-Man. <laughs> God, that'd be so cool. Get an actual Spider-Man game where you feel like you're swinging around in a web. Oh, that would make me happy. Or just a VR2 uh, Iron Man 2 game where it feels more like you're actually Iron Man instead of kind of being... I would say it was a rail shooter because it wasn't, but it was like... One of those things is like... Uh, it feels like it's more of an experience... Than a full flesh game. Like when we think full flesh games, we're thinking, you know, 10, 20, 30 hour plus games. That, from what I could tell, was probably like maybe two hours at most. But I get the idea that VR1 was kind of getting their foot door in the footstep, you know, learning how to work with these kind of machines. Because, you know, it's one thing to make a beautiful world and not, you know, have to immerse the player. Well, not to immerse them in a traditional sense. But now you got a VR headset on and you got to fucking, you know, really get them into the game for them to really get like the best experience. So I don't know. But I also know there are some Resident Evil games that maybe are getting a VR mode. I know like, uh, what was it? Res not, it was in a, well, I think Village got a, a VR mode. But there was a couple other ones, if I recall correctly, got a VR mode. I actually heard like the general experiences with those are really good. Like, VR is one of those things that really works well with horror, especially if you know you want to get really scared. Just get one of those games that uh, likes to do a bunch of jump scares. Five Nights at Freddy looks at you. So, yeah, VR two is something that I'm very interested in, but not to the five hundred fifty dollar price tag. It's just a little bit too much. I, I, I get it. Like you know, it's only fifty more dollars. Some people out there will try to defend that, but. It's extra $50 I could use on games. It's extra $50 I could use on sales, getting new furniture for my place. It's just, it's not the highest priority. I guess it's the best way to put it. But still interesting. I'm very excited to see what happens with these games. I want to see what, you know, what happens when like some of Sony's uh, third party or first party deals really get in on this thing. Like this is just like the, the tip, the very tip, like the first tip of ice on vr's potential we're seeing and there's rumors half-life alex could be coming to vr too which that would definitely be something i want because that's one of those games i heard a lot of good things about like how this was like the first real vr game like this was the first one that really kind of made you feel immersed i know i keep using that word a lot immersed in immersion but it's like that's the truth it's like you know i heard that's one of the most immersive games people have played so until next time guys that's just my thoughts on vr2 and the price tag not exactly a deal breaker but it makes me a little bit more hesitant like oh let's wait for a sale or something 
So until next time, peace out and have a good day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that YouTube algorithm. BS. Bye.